יש אוצר שמציק לצור, ואין ציר שיצעק לצור. רק אני מול ים שלם ולב שבור. Awesome, love the Ruach. So we're so, so happy to be here in person, all together. Um, so many people to thank. Um, thank you, first and foremost, to our amazing eighth graders who have been just amazing through this whole ordeal. Um, certainly not the way we anticipated the end of their eighth grade year, but so proud of you for showing such courage and resiliency and pride and support of one another. I am really so, so, so proud of you. And to the parents, I thank you for all of your support, all of your feedback, all of your suggestions um, that led us to this first drive-in graduation at Bicultural Hebrew Academy. So <laughs> kudos to you. A lot of people have done a lot of work behind the scenes to make this the best graduation we possibly could for you. Um, so I want you to really enjoy the moment. Um, we have an amazing company working with us. They've been with us for a few weeks, been here since 10 o'clock this morning, making sure everything is set up. Your radio should be tuned if you want to close your windows and not listen to me this way. Um, you can hear it on your radio or both. It's being live streamed, so hopefully you sent it to your friends and family so they can be watching as well. Uh, the live stream uh, will be uploaded and be able to send you a copy tomorrow at some point. So if you miss any part of the graduation, you'll be able to relive it over and over again. And very, very special thank you to Rabbi Bernstein, and Mrs. Heron and Rabbi Trencher, Mrs. Robinson, and Rabbi Ophir, um, who went above and beyond uh, to put all of the pieces here today for all of us to celebrate. Also a very special thank you to David Klein um, and to a wonderful Bicultural Day School alumni, Sam Baden, for helping us with all of uh, the technology here today and the entire program would not have happened without David and Sam. So uh, thank you to both of you. Just a couple of reminders. Um, it took a lot to get us here and a lot of clearance. So a reminder to please stay in your cars. I know it's really hard and um, in a lot of ways disappointing, but um, super important uh, for all of us based upon the Stanford Depart Police Department's help and assistance um, that they require us to follow the state of Connecticut mandates uh, for us all to stay in our cars. So please do that. And without further ado, our program is going to begin now. Please put your attention to the screens. Samantha Bradley. Jake Renner, Lana Bush, Jake Davidson, Noah Doft, Asher Farber, Erez Fass, Sasha Geller, Neely Ganger, Esther Goldstein, Mia Haron, Ella Hecht, Izzy Kanevsky, Jason Walwasser, Ella Lefferman, Charlotte Maureen, Sawyer Price, Zachary Price, Isaac Rayson, Jonah Rosenberg, Avi Shapiro, Sammy Sandersky, Ben Steiner, Alan Weiner, Tess Weiner. We proudly present to you the BCHA Middle School Graduating Class of 2020. Woo! 
amazing. Um, I hope you all have their radio station on because um, the speakers have to balance out the radio station. And so if you can't hear me from here, you definitely can hear it on the radio station. If you have a problem, just wave your hand and someone will come and assist you if you're having trouble hearing. Amazing. Um, we know you can't rise, but um, please show your respects as um, we now participate in the Star Spangled Banner. You know, in the history of drive-in cinema, tonight might be the first time that a Dvartar is appearing on the drive-in screens. And to commemorate this, perhaps, when they come around on the roller skates to take your snack order, order some kishka. This past Shabbat was very interesting because we read outside of the land of Israel a different Parsha that one was read in Israel. We read Parsha Nasa, and they read Parsha Balotcha. And the reason for that is because Shavuot this year, which is what celebrated one day in Israel, two days outside of Israel, the second day fell on Shabbat. So outside of Israel, we read the Parsha that applied for the holiday of Shavuot, whereas in Israel it was a regular Shabbat, and they read the, sh the reading that was assigned for that Shabbat. But I think there may be a very special meaning for us on this great occasion we celebrate tonight in that Parshat Nasa was read on the same Shabbat as Parshat Balotcha. Parshat Nasa teaches us that the Leviim had the responsibility to dismantle, carry, and reassemble the Mishkan, the tabernacle, wherever the Jews traveled all the years that they were in the desert. And amongst the items that they had to carry, perhaps the holiest, was the Aron, the ark that contained the physical embodiment of what we received at Mount Sinai, the Shnei Luchot Habrit, the tablets upon which the Ten Commandments were inscribed. And Parsha Balotcha contains one of the most famous passages in the Torah. We're all familiar with it because we sing it every time we take the Torah out of the ark in our synagogues. Whenever the ark traveled, Moshe said to Hashem, Hashem, arise and cause your enemies to be scattered and those that hate you to flee. An amazing statement. And perhaps the message is this. Wherever we go in life, wherever we choose to live, take the values of the Torah with us. Continue to study and reflect those values and to teach them to our families, to our communities, and to the world at large. And if we do that, Moshe Rabbeinu says to Hashem, Hashem, allow these special people to accomplish their goals in life because they're teaching your word to the world. To our eighth graders, who we are so proud of tonight, not only because of what you have learned, but also the people that you have become. Wherever you go in this world, 
Take those Torah values that you learned with you. Continue to study them, reflect them, teach them to your families, to your communities, and to the world. And our blessing for you is that Moshe Rabbeinu will say to Hashem, let them be successful in life because they're teaching your values to the world. Mazal Tov. Thank you, Rabbi Bernstein. And now it is the time that we have all been waiting for, uh, the presentation of the students. And what we are going to do, we are going to do it in groups of five. So I'm going to ask when your name is called for you to have your cap and gown and step outside your car. And just make sure you're not next to another graduate. So this is in alphabetical order, so you'll know your cue. So at this time, I would like Samantha Sammy Bradley to step out of her gar car. Jake Brenner, step out of your car, cap and gown. Lana Bush. Jake Davidson. And Noah Doft. And please put your attention to the screens. The eighth grade Shabbaton was a very fun and unique experience. Not only did we get to spend time with our grade, but we also got to spend time with kids with special needs in the Yachad program. We sang songs, played games, and just spent time with them and got to know them. This taught me that people with all different needs and requirements can easily get along and really bond with each other. Some of the things I got to do with my grade include spending the night with three friends and two of the Israeli girls, walking to a Judith together, and going to Rabbi Yaakov's house to play games and eat snacks. All this together created an experience that I really enjoyed, and I'm very happy that I was able to be a part of it. Sammy, you are a sweet and kind person. I could always find you hanging out with your friends in the eighth grade hallway. You put your heart into everything that you do, and I notice how committed you were during color war to helping your teammates succeed. I also know you're an avid TikToker and even managed to get your mom to dance with you. You certainly are an impressive dancer and always creative. I know how much you care for your family and how much they adore you. There is no doubt that from your martial arts to your academics, your parents are beyond proud of all that you have accomplished. In my class this year, you grew tremendously. I was wowed by the way in which you devoured new skills that you were taught and immediately applied them. Your analytical mind is always working, and I appreciated your perspective on the books and short stories that we read. Your friends also love to work with you. Sammy, I appreciate the thoughtfulness that you show to your friends, family, and teachers. Helen Keller said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Your tender heart and passion to achieve will lead you to great success. And I have no doubt that your cheering squad will always have your back. Congratulations on your graduation. Third grade was a very special year for me. I made lots of friends that I've maintained and kept throughout the years, even though I left by cultural and came back and spent my last year here in 8th grade, I still had those friends and those friendships that I made along the way. Jake, first off, let me congratulate you on successfully inserting yourself into an already established 8th grade class. Uh, there are not many things more difficult than that in life. Uh, you, that's really tough and you did a great job. Um, you are the kind of student that, that makes my job not only easy but fun. You have so much enthusiasm for my class. You're willing to take risks and you, you've always got an answer to just about any question. I know that over the year I didn't always call on you as often as you may have liked um, based on how often your hand was in the air. But you have to take it as a compliment when the teacher tries to get other people to answer questions that they know you already have the answer to. 
Um, I want to wish you the best in high school, and I, I sincerely hope that you'll be back to tell us all how you're doing, and, and especially let me know how you're doing in science. Bechatzlacha and Mazal Tov. I've been in BCHA for nine years, and the memories I've made here are one of a kind. Even though our grade may be separating for high school, I've made friends that will stick together forever. My friends are the people who laugh with me during classes and make every day more fun. They help me with homework and study for tests, not to mention the countless number of field trips in which we sit together on the bus and just laugh forever. I have so many memories from BCHA, like the bus trip to Washington, D.C., where a lot of us sat together on the floor and played Mario Kart, or when we all bought ice cream in the shop in Crown Heights. I will never forget my friends from BCHA because they are one of a kind. I've learned the value of true friendship. In the poem Nobility by Alice Carey, she writes, True worth is in being, not seeming, in doing each day that goes by. Some little good not in dreaming for great things to do by and by. There is nothing so kingly as kindness and nothing so royal as truth. Lana, this sums you up. You are always thoughtful and kind-hearted. You enter every room with a broad smile and a happy spirit. You shower your friends with care and concern and always work beautifully with them. Your honesty is complete. You know who you are, who you care about, what you care about, and what matters most to you. Your commitment to your family and friends is apparent in all that you do. You're willing to give to others, whether to share props for Romeo and Juliet or to provide a helpful hand to a friend. You are there. You know what's important to you and that you can trust your hardworking analytical mind to achieve your dreams. I have no doubt that you will pursue and achieve whatever you put your mind to. I will greatly miss seeing you next year and know that all who know you appreciate your cheerful, sincere, candid, and caring personality. I wish you all the best. Congratulations on your graduation. Immediately entering BCHA, I made friends for life while getting an education like no other. Field trips were always my favorite because we had fun while continuing to learn. From going to Teva to Washington, D.C., they have always been immensely fun. It was one certain trip that really made the biggest impact for me. I was incredibly honored to be one of the leaders of the Chesed Club along with Rabbi Yaakov. The goal for the Chesed Club was to simply help others out, and that's what we did. The first trip that we went on was to David's Treasure Chest, which is a closet in Stanford Hospital where toys are stored for kids that are sick and have to spend the night or many nights in the hospital. Sadly, David, the boy for whom the project was named, passed away. This BCHA 8th grade chassad trip showed me how good it feels to make a positive impact on others' lives by simply donating a gift or two. Thank you, Bi Cultural, for the best years of my life. Jake Davidson, Coach Denise here. I hope you're doing well. I've missed seeing you around school. Last couple of years, I've really enjoyed watching you grow and mature. You're always a pleasure to have in class. You always had a smile on your face and you made class fun. One of the things I've always loved about you is the way that you always had a positive attitude and you always cared about others. I always loved seeing you help out the little kids off the bus and help them to class. You listen to them when they just ramble on about something, but you're always there just being a great guy. You were one of the first ones to welcome me to the school last year by asking me to play one-on-one -on -one basketball and sometimes being your teammate playing against the other 8th graders. That actually meant the world to me and it made being a new teacher a little bit easier, so I really appreciate that. And I also loved your talks about many different topics. I hope that you have a great year next year, so good luck, and I hope that you stop by and maybe we shoot around. Thanks, Jake. Bicultural is a large part of the reason why I enjoy reading today. Back in the fourth grade, I was given an incentive to read, and that caused me to try and search for something that I would actually enjoy reading. This caused me to find the Percy Jackson series, which led me to look for more series I would enjoy. I found Harry Potter, Mistborn, Dresden Files, and so much more. 
I was transported to other worlds where I met wizards and monsters and learned about the wonders of storytelling. And in my English classes, I learned how to properly understand what these books I read were saying. The discussions I had in these classes were enlightening and led me to appreciate books more. This is why this is why I helped create a book club in school with Izzy. So thank you, Bicultural, for everything. Noch, noch ich tzadik tamim hayabe dorotav. I assume this is not the first time you heard this pasuk, comparing you to Noach from Sefer Bereshit. Like Noach in the Torah, it seems you also have your own ark. And even there are storms outside, you remain calm and collected as you quietly hold the book and read. Noach, you are curious and always keep your eyes open. You know how to criticize things you don't like and you don't hesitate to respectfully question your teacher, all with a smile and kindness. I remember the day in class when we talked about one of Israel's former prime ministers, and I briefly mentioned that his leadership was a little bit controversial. Then I moved on and continued talking about his biography. When the class was over and everyone had left the class, you came to me and you asked, you mentioned he was controversial. Can you explain me why? This is just one memory of mine, one example of your awareness and your curiosity. Noach, it's a pleasure to know you. I wish you best, Racha. Good luck. Keep reading and learning with your curiosity and your unique worldview. I'm sure you'll do well in high school. I will miss you and I wait to see you soon in Israel. So now what we are going to do is I'm gonna call each student to come on the red carpet where you started this year on the red carpet. I thought it fitting you finish your year on the red carpet to pick up your diploma and your gifts. And then you're going to walk over, and thank you to Angela, who is here taking your pictures, um, to have your photo taken with your diploma. And then you will go back to your car. So here we go. Sammy Samantha Bradley. music. Jake Brenner. Jake Davidson.
Mazel tov. Now we're going to ask the next five amazing eighth grade graduates to get, stand outside their car. Asher Farber. Erez Fass. Sasha Geller. Neely Ganger. Esther Goldstein. Please now direct your attention to the screens. There have been a lot of great experiences over the course of me being at this school. I remember when we went to Teva. We were in nature, which was good for a change. And we ate fruit that made our tongues numb. We saw goats. We played games. And we made some fun songs. This school made me realize my love for Judaism, teaching me the Torah in a fun yet educational way. In total, I made some memories at this school that I definitely won't forget. Asher, from the moment you set foot in my room in seventh grade, I knew there was something special about you. You are extremely passionate, and multiple times throughout the last two years, you have proven that to me with your dedication to student projects, particularly whenever there was a focus on South Africa, you just jumped at the bit and this passion and desire to dig deeper. You gave me some of your best effort on topics that you were most interested in. And I know, and I hope that that's something you're able to carry forward with you into high school. Um, I'm grateful for all the good rapport that we had and how I could count on you to always be a team player on certain projects and assignments. Um, I also want to thank you for bringing humor and wit into our class and that feeling um, comfortable enough for you to be able to express yourself in my class really meant a lot and I enjoyed the banter as well as the hard work that we had and we shared together. I wish you the best of luck in high school. When I first came to Bicultural, I was excited to expand my mind with knowledge and learning. When the idea of having a makerspace came around, it piqued my interest. I now had a place to create and build things from scratch. I joined the makerspace club to test my creativity and see what I could do. I learned that building with hammers and blocks could be productive or destructive and chose to complete the task at hand and always put time and effort into my creations. I always loved to invent and design machines and other contraptions, but when makerspace came to Bicultural, I knew it was the right thing for me. I hope to be able to continue activities like Makerspace through my high school and college years. Erez, you are the personification of a mensch. You are sweet, humble, helpful, thoughtful, caring, and hardworking. You put your all into everything that you do, and you complete your work with a palpable kindness and humility that is hard to find in someone so young. You care deeply for your friends and family. I remember how you were excited when by chance you got a book that your sister had used in class. I appreciated that while quarantine wasn't exactly the best, you expressed your joy in spending time with family. You are also an incredibly dedicated friend. I watched you in the hall gently remind a friend about an assignment in a delicate way so as not to put him off. You clearly have a big heart and care for those around you. Did I mention your creativity? Erez, you are a world-class origami artist, and your creations are incredible, useful, and unusual. You can always be found making a new origami creation during lunch and even during class sometimes. I also learned how industrious you are. Did you know that Erez deconstructed and rebuilt a computer himself? You clearly have the mind of an engineer and can see how to take things apart and improve them as you reconstruct them. This is truly amazing. Leonardo da Vinci said, I've been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Erez, I hope that you never change and that your tender, unselfish, giving heart remains the same. And that, coupled with your incredible ingenuity and engineering mind, will lead you to great heights. Congratulations on graduation. I had never found color work to be amusing or exciting not until I was one of the leaders of all the students that I began liking and participating more. I shared many jokes and laughter with all my teammates and I loved bossing my brother around. 
To me, the best activity by far as an 8th grader was creating the big band. Our team, the blue team, took the longest time to finish our banner because we knew it was our last year and gave it our best. We all wanted to make it as perfect as we could. Maybe we took up so much time because it was a way of bonding and wanted it to last longer. I picked up a pencil and started sketching, a drawing about our team theme, Yakar, Honor. Just like that it started. We sketched with no breaks, our backs were throbbing with, with pain, but that didn't stop us. We worried it wouldn't turn out good, but we smiled and planned out next moves. We started painting, holding the paintbrushes gently, picking out the colors wisely and filling in the small details. We were very happy because in the end it turned out good and realized we were a very good team. We added the finishing glitter and we were finally done. We looked at the band and were proud face and a smile of glee. I am very sad that my several years at BCH is ending with COVID-19 in the way. I, am looking I was looking forward to the Israel trip, but I am still very thankful for all the wonderful and unforgettable memories I have made with either my amazing friends or great teachers. Thank you. Dear Sasha, in Hebrew, there is a saying, Maim shketim chodrim amok, quiet waters run deep. And this is exactly how I see you. You have these quiet and polite manners that help you touch people's heart. Also, you have this quiet determination in you that helps you achieve the goals that you are setting for yourself. I remember there were times in class when we did assignments and you thought that you could get better results. You went back, you learned from your mistakes and you came back to ask and to retake it. I love this determination about you and I hope that all these wonderful qualities that you have in you will lead you to a great success in your future. Best of luck. Seven years ago, when I walked into my culture for the very first time, I knew it would be a special place. Since then, I've created strong friendships, learned how to read, write essays, do punnet squares, speak Hebrew, and go to my comfort zone in many more ways than one, thanks to my cultural. Most recently this year, I tried something I never thought I would do. With the encouragement of my coach and friends, I decided to join the volleyball team for the very first time in September. While I was nervous to start, with the help of Coach Stefan and my teammates, I learned to love volleyball. Soon came the time to sign up for basketball. After a lot of convincing once again, I ended up signing up for the Bobcats basketball team. While basketball was something unfamiliar and challenging to me, my culture offered a safe and supportive environment for me to try something new. I learned to be okay with the fact that sometimes in life there are going to be things that I am uncomfortable with and I must continue to work hard and practice to get better at the things I love. I am grateful for this important lesson learned at Bicultural and I will carry it with me throughout life. Nili, I am talking to you in English because I don't remember the situation that we talked about in English. גם במסדרון תמיד זה היה בעברית. הזדמנות נהדרת לשתף את המורה בדרמות מבלי שאף אחד יבין. נילי, את חכמה, מצחיקה, ותכונה שמאוד בולטת אצלך, את מאוד מאוד רגישה. באחד השיעורים כשלמדנו על אנשים טובים, שמענו איזשהו סיפור על ילד שלא התנהג יפה, ואת ממש התחלת לבכות. ברגישות תיארת את הסיטואציה ואיך כן צריך להתנהג. אני זוכרת שגם היו מצבים שקרו ולא הסכמת איתם או שעצבנו אותך. וכששאלתי אותך, למה את לא מדברת? תמיד היה חשוב לך שהצד האחר לא ייפגע. הלל אמר, מה ששנוא עליך, אל תעשה לחבריך, וכך גם את. אני רוצה לאחל לך שתמיד, תמיד תהיי רגישה ומלאת חמלה ורחמים לאחר. המון הצלחה בתיכון, ושתמצאי הרבה הזדמנויות לדבר בעברית. בהצלחה. One BCHA experience that has shaped me into the person that I am today was participating in Your Good Man Charlie Brown in 7th grade. Participating in a musical was a huge responsibility, but in the end, the cast's hard work paid off. Performing on stage was an immensely rewarding experience that I will cherish forever. I believe that this show sparked my love for performing arts and has inspired me to audition for multiple shows and fill my life with the most magical moments I could ever ask for. A theater critic once wrote of the title character Anastasia, quote, she is not your typical Disney princess. She is confident, headstrong, and brave, while at the same time, always remaining humble and kind. The same can be said 
of the person who inspired me to learn about the Romanovs, the one and only Esther Goldstein. Esther, you bring so much of yourself into the classroom. As a deeply self-reflective human being and as an unyielding Jew, you approach complex topics in an insightful and expressive manner, often displaying a maturity and wisdom well beyond your years. It has been an honor to learn with you and from you. I'm proud of you. We are all very proud of you. Mazalto of Esther. Yeah! We're now going to call our next set of graduates to come and receive their diplomas. Asher Farber. for our next five graduates to step out of their cars. It's my pleasure to welcome Mia Harone. Ella Hecht. Izzy Konevsky. Jason Kowasser. And Ella Lefferman. Please turn your attention to the screens. One experience that my grade and I shared was our Washington trip. We learned about our government and about many different memorials that are located throughout Washington, D.C. during our seventh grade year. When we arrived, we visited many museums, memorials, and historical sites. We toured many places like the White House, Lincoln Memorial, Holocaust Museum, and many more. While this experience was special in itself, something that made it even more special was experiencing it with my classmates. Not only did I learn so much from this trip, 
but in addition, I felt a stronger sense of unity with my peers. Every year, a group of students seem to gravitate to my homeroom at lunchtime. They start their homework, have questions answered, and socialize with friends. Mia came often, and it was a pleasure to get to know her. Motivated and conscientious, Mia had an excellent year in math. Her homework papers were a pleasure to correct, as her format was perfect. As art general for the yellow team in Color Wars, Mia was able to share her artistic talent. She is not one to call attention to herself, but her contributions make a difference. The banner was beautifully done. Mia, you possess all the qualities lo one loves to see in a student. Kindness to your classmates, respect for your teachers, enjoyment in your classes and with your friends, and perseverance to meet all challenges. Congratulations on a great year. I wish you continued success in high school and always. I came to Bicultural in third grade and from the very first moment, it felt like a second home. My classmates and teachers were so welcoming and they made me feel instantly comfortable. This school is truly like one big family. I couldn't have asked for a better grade. We have an extremely strong relationship. We are all very unique as individuals, but there is a collective bond between us and we have always stood out in the way we get along with each other. I hope that we will continue to be close for many years to come. As for my teachers, I cannot use adequate words to describe how grateful I am for them. I remember thinking in third grade that the teacher I had was the best in the world, until the next year when the fourth grade teacher was definitely my favorite. It just kept going on and on like this every year. I would never be able to pick a favorite because they are all simply amazing. I feel so academically well prepared for high school next year, and I have learned many valuable life lessons that I will take with me. I may be moving on to a different school next year, but I'm positive that I will never forget the gift of my bicultural education. Ella. You are truly one of the most awesome people I know. When I first met you, you were a bit on the quiet side, but then boom. It really didn't take long, and I suddenly met this giant personality. And that personality is gold. Ella, I love watching you shine in your element. From drawing to acting, you are an artist, full of talent to be shared. As Simba in this year's Lion King Jr., you were taught the lesson of Hakuna Matata, which means not to worry. The truth is, though, Although you were taught the lesson of Hakuna Matata in the play, it is a lesson that you have always carried with you. You do not get worked up over the little things and know what is most important. Being able to weed out the small problems from the big ones and having your priorities straight demonstrates a level of maturity that so much of us strive towards. Ella, I know you have a bright future ahead, both on the stage and off it. Continue to shine as we have seen you do and continue to let the little things slide, and I know you are going to achieve great things. Mazel tov, Ella. Hi, I'm Izzy Knevsky, and Bicultural has become my second home. I feel safe, happy, and supported while I'm here. One of my greatest passions is reading, and in sixth grade, me and my friend Noah Dahl decided to create a book club at school. i had been going to the one at the Ferguson Library since I was in third grade, so it's really confused why we didn't have one at our school. I was very worried about confronting Ms. Horn with the idea, but I knew Bicultural would support me nonetheless. She loved it, and we agreed that each month there'd be a new book club with a new discussion leader to encourage other readers to come. I was really excited about it, and I never knew that it would get so far. The book club has created an environment for me that's so amazing, and I really keep loving it. Bicultural has inspired me and supported me throughout my years at Bicultural to keep my ideas and keep going. The book club has been one of my many highlights from all my school years, and I'm really happy that it happened. Thank you. In the short time that I've been at Bicultural, I've had the great privilege to get to know Izzy Konevsky. Izzy, your positive energy is contagious. Anytime I saw you in the library or the school hallway or now on Zoom, you always had a smile on your face, and you always managed to help others smile as well. I was always also so impressed with your sensitivity towards others. Whether it was during lunchtime in the library or book club, you always made sure that everyone around you felt included and welcome. Last but definitely not least, your passion for books is incredible. Within my first day at Bicultural, you came to ask me about restarting the middle school book club. And even when we switched to virtual learning, you spearheaded our Zoom book clubs and always made sure that every detail of the book club was set. Izzy. 
You are confident, kind and sensitive towards others, determined and passionate. I am so lucky to have gotten to know you these last few months, and I wish you and the whole bicultural class of 2020 much success in high school and beyond. One of the many great aspects of BCHA is the quality and dedication of the teachers. They were always available during lunch to either go over lessons I didn't fully understand or to learn new material. Rabbi Tzachi and I learned the Book of Eov and new interpretations of the Haggadah. This type of learning went far beyond the curriculum and was guided by the subjects that interested me. I now have the ability to learn intense subjects on my own due to the extensive time that I spent on learning Eov. This is only one of the amazing ways that all my teachers have guided my education. Congrats to the class of 2020! Jason, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you these past few years. From perm costumes to snow cone machines, you always bring so much joy and school spirit. What stands out to me most about you is how you bring your passions with you everywhere you go. And I want to highlight two of those passions. First is your family history. Jason, I'm always amazed by your ability to go back several generations and carry your family stories in your back pocket. You have so much pride in where you have come from and I see how it shapes your identity and I am so inspired by that. Your second passion is world culture. You know so much about the world around you and you love sharing it with others. Specifically, you have a deep interest in Cuba and I know that your speech would not be complete without some Spanish. So please forgive me for any mistakes, but here we go. Felicidades Jason, estamos orgullosos de ti, esperamos escuchar grandes cosas de ti. Congratulations Jason, we are so proud of you and we can't wait to hear great things from you. Mazel tov. Throughout my formative years at BCHA, I had heard about the Student Council and what the group does for the betterment of the school. I was hesitant to join at first, but I'm glad I did because I've made so many good memories and new friends through it. My friends and I have worked to establish many initiatives that we think are fun and beneficial for the school, such as the Kindness Rocks program and story time for the younger grades. Being able to work with Mrs. Robinson on every project or idea that we think up is amazing. She knows just how to make something work and we get so much done that way. I hope that the Student Council keeps growing and starts new programs every year. It's been an unbelievable experience for me and I can't wait to see where it takes everyone in the future. Ella, you are such a conscientious and responsible student. Always attentive and engaged, ready to share an answer or ask a question. You delve into every problem and have mastered the material beautifully. I appreciate all your good work. You love to learn. In distance learning, you were a thoughtful helper, sending a kind note if my Google Meet wasn't quite right. Thank you. Of course, your talents extend to the stage as well. You are an accomplished dancer, performing at Bicultural and also in the All City Musicals. You were the dance general for the yellow team, and I enjoyed watching you pra the practices of the dances and cheers that you had choreographed. You did a wonderful job. Ella, congratulations on a great year. I wish you every success in high school and always. It's now my pleasure to welcome Mia Harone.
the screen as you will quickly see that we have a wonderful Mrs. Robinson production in store for you. Enjoy. Our story is different. It's unlike any other. It's a story about a class who will forever be connected. Not only because we share history together, but because together we made history. We are the class of 2020. celebration but despite that I thought you might just be feeling a little nervous as well and perhaps even fearful you've had amazing mentors guiding your way through the best possible education and now you stand on the threshold of the next phase of your lives the future does indeed belong to you hold fast to everything that you have lived right here Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. Use this moment to encourage you, to embolden you, and to literally push you into the rising of your life. Have no regrets in the 16 seconds. Nothing is more important than your healthy relationships. Nothing. Not your goals, not your successes. And here's why. Relationships are where we get to influence, impact, and change people's lives. Your life cannot be meaningful without them. So what starts here can indeed change the world. But the question is, what will the world look like after you change it? While it may be frightening, it will also be rewarding. Because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. If there's anything you take from today, remember that we would like to see and to achieve greatness is not to get money and recognition, it's to leave those with whom you cross paths with a little more happiness and hope. You have learned how to learn, so keep learning. Never be afraid of failure, because God always gives us a second chance and a third, and never ceases to believe in us, 
even if sometimes we don't believe in ourselves. And always have the courage to take a risk, because we can travel without fear when God is with us, and God is always with us, whether we know it or not. May God be with you in all you do, and may all you do bring pride to your teachers and blessings to the world. Time surely flies as we look back on some of those pictures, and I remember those days very, very well. You've all grown up so beautifully. Our next group of graduates um, to please step out of your car, Charlotte Maureen, Sawyer Price, Zachary Price. Isaac Rayson, Jonah Rosenberg. Please turn your attention to the screens. One thing that I will definitely miss about being a bicultural are the relationships that I have formed with my teachers. The teachers at this school are very open to questions and they will always help students whenever they need it. I appreciate this quality of openness because that way I can always come to them for help and they will always answer all my questions even though I usually have a lot of them. Every single teacher that I've had in my experience at this school has helped me grow as a person and has taught me so much in so many ways. For example, in sixth grade, I had Miss Robinson for math. She would make games for us to play so that we would better understand the topics that she was trying to teach us. It was a lot of fun. Another example of this was this year in Moralana's Tanakh class. We played dodgeball to better understand the topic of a city of refuge. All of my teachers since kindergarten have devoted their time and energy to helping me learn in creative ways. I am very thankful for that. I will miss all of them so much, and I thank every, every single one of them for everything they have done for me. Charlotte, it is so hard to know where to begin. I met you in sixth grade, and one of the most memorable moments was, at 12 years old, when you asked to teach a period of Chumash instead of me. You prepared slides with guiding questions, sent me lesson plans, and produced lessons above and beyond what I imagined. That episode speaks so much to the person you are. You go above and beyond and always do so with so much motivation, energy, and care. While teaching the class is a specific example, those traits stand true each and every day in class. While I've been so impressed by your motivation to learn, I am also extremely grateful to have gotten to know a different side of you as well. I love how you're not shy to slap a sticky note on my forehead or tell me that I've had too much coffee to drink. What a fun twist you add to our relationship, and I think it speaks volumes to your fun and humorous personality. Charlotte, I have the fullest confidence in you. You have achieved so much already, both academically and interpersonally, and I have seen how when you set your mind to something, nothing can stop you. Keep being awesome, Charlotte. Mazel tov. Having the privilege of being one of the few color war captains was a tremendous moment in my years at BCHA. I knew it would be a hard task, but I was up for the challenge because this was something I've dreamed about since I was young. When I was first told I was general, I was ecstatic. Once we started to plan, the realization of exactly how much work, what work is required set in. We had to write songs, cheers, and hype up all of the kids. When Color War started, my team and I put in our all and trained the kids well. I felt like a million dollars. I wouldn't have traded the experience for the world. In the end, I've 
Hundreds of great memories from BCHA, but this is one of my favorites. Go Orange! At the start of the school year, I asked the Masora class to think of someone they respected. Someone they wished to emulate. More than half of the students chose the same person. Sawyer Price. To say that Sawyer is well liked would be a drastic understatement. Sawyer is respected, admired, and beloved by his friends, classmates, and teachers. Sawyer, you have a giving heart. You're strong, thoughtful, and wise. I'm proud of you, Sawyer. We are all proud of you. Mazal tov. Go, Sawyer! An event that occurred at Bicultural that will forever be important to me happened during the second grade show. As many of you know, I'm not a theater type person, so I struggled to complete my role. I was put as a lion. The one thing they had me do is roar. The whole show, I just had to roar once. And for some reason, I found this very challenging and I just couldn't do it. Mrs. Robinson saw that I was struggling, took me aside, and I guess cured my fright of roaring. Without her and this experience, I don't think I'd be as confident and outgoing as I am today. <laughs> Zach, it seems like only yesterday that you were this long-haired kid trying to beat me at mini golf while at the same time introducing me to HQ Trivia down in South Carolina. Um, when you walked into my classroom that following fall for seventh grade, I had questions and reservations about whether or not you were going to give me trouble because you already knew me or you were going to be my best buddy. Well, after two years, I got my answer. It was a pretty healthy mix of both, to be honest. Um, it has been a pleasure, but also on several occasions a pain to be your teacher. Um, you are, without a doubt, a fierce competitor and a bright young man. I hope you channel these strengths to do great things in high school, and don't forget to invite me to a game or two. And by the way, can you please teach me that move you schooled me with at the student-teacher basketball game? Favorite part of my bicultural experience that I can remember is for sure the making of my team's car war video. It was a great bonding experience with my classmates. From joking around to funny bloopers, we all had a around great time. I've had many great experiences with my classmates throughout these years, and, I'll most, and this one will most likely be the one that I remember the most. Isaac, wow. Um, where to start? I've known you longer than any of your classmates, and over that time I've watched you grow as a student and a person. Um, you've taken my Reef elective six times in a row, which has never happened before. Um, you've, you've turned into a person that I can really rely on. Um, if I ever needed anything done on the reef tank, I could call Mrs. Herman, and I know you You'd do it gladly. I wouldn't have to worry about it happening. You'd do it gladly during math class, but <laughs> you'd do it gladly. Um, the most wonderful thing about this is that you're going to VCHA, so I don't even have to say goodbye. Um, I hope I get to work with you next year, um, or even better, in biology in 10th grade. But uh, regardless, I'll see you all the time. Uh, so it's a hearty mazal tov and bahatzlacha. First walked in the doors of Bicultural in third grade. I was nervous. I had just left a school where I had a lot of friends, and I was worried it wouldn't be the same at BCDS. Luckily, all my classmates welcomed me with open arms. I started to make new friends, and I built strong relationships with many of my peers. Over the next couple of years, I continued to grow and bond with some of my classmates. We went on many trips, did fun activities, and had a great time. I feel like one trip that made me realize how lucky I was was the Washington trip. On that trip, I made friendships with new people, and I had a great time throughout the whole trip. Whether it was in the hotel room eating snacks or taking pictures at the monuments, me and my friends always kept each other entertained. Now, looking back on my experiences at Bicultural, I realize how blessed I was to go here. I'd like to thank my teachers for making learning fun and always caring about us, and I'd like to thank Mrs. Herman and the other administrators for making sure we never had a dull moment at Bicultural. Thank you so much for helping shape most of my childhood. I had a great time as a student, and I am so grateful I got the opportunity to come to this school. Hey Jonah, first off, congratulations on graduating from the 8th grade. 
I still remember the first time you came to the JCC for basketball tryouts. I thought you were more of a quiet, reserved type of kid, which there's nothing wrong with that. What was amazing to witness was your progression each and every year on the basketball court. I could tell immediately from this that you were a hard worker, dedicated, and committed to getting better. Once I started working at Bicultural, I really got the chance to get to know you on so many more levels. This is when I realized you were not a quiet, reserved type of kid. You were full of life and personality. Someone that people all got along with and looked up to. You have the intangibles to be successful. Great character, intelligence, dedication, and responsibility. Those are the intangibles I see in you. One thing that I really admire about you was your leadership on and off the court. You have what it takes to be a great leader. Don't be afraid to be yourself and be vocal. It was really a pleasure, pleasure having you for two years. You are a great kid and I will miss our sports talks and being able to coach you on the basketball court. On this next journey ahead for you, remember to just be yourself and I know that whatever you put your mind to, you will succeed. It's now my pleasure to welcome Charlotte Maureen. Shapiro. Ben Steiner. Alan Weiner. Tess 
Weiner. Please direct your attention to the screens. Hi, I'm Sammy Snirsky. Throughout the years, our grade has been on so many trips that were both fun and educational. Each of these trips brought memories that are going to be with me for life. An example of one of this trip was the sound water trip in seventh grade. In the morning, we all raced toward the bus, and the ride there was full of many jokes and us laughing. When we got there, we ate lunch at the benches, and we became little kids again as we raced to the playground, swinging on the swings and hanging off the monkey bars. After that, we went to the house that told us what to do. When we got our waders and boots on, and all of us were fitted, some less than others, we started to step toward the water. The most amazing thing was the weightlessness that you felt when you were in the water. We got our nets and we began to fish. We even caught a jellyfish. One of my favorite moments from that trip was when someone accidentally dropped the net full of fish far away from the bucket, and our whole grade had to come together to carry each fish from the net to the bucket. After that, we went to the lab and we examined all that we caught. And after that, we went back on the bus and the ride back was as fun as the ride there. All these many memories from BCHA will stay with me forever and I hope to have them through all my life. It has been my pleasure to have Sammy in class the past two years. Always prepared and attentive and engaged, Sammy was an excellent math student and contributed to every lesson. Though a dedicated student, Sammy's talents go beyond the classroom. She has participated and performed in bicultural productions and assemblies. In this year's Color Wars, Sammy was the general assigned to lead the third and fourth grade students for the orange team. She was perfect in her role, responsible, patient, organized, soft-spoken, and able to break things down for the younger students, a natural leader and teacher, and always a wonderful smile. Sammy, thank you for all your hard work and effort. I wish you every success in high school and always. An important experience I went through at Bicultural was Color War. During Color War, we got to lead the third through seventh grade in learning Jewish themed songs, sports competitions, and many more amazing events. Personally, I ran the sports competitions for my team. For this event, I had to lead a grade in challenges to gain points for our team. This taught me an important lesson that no matter the athletic capability of someone, working as a team can always get the job done, no matter what the task is. As a whole, Color War helped me improve my leadership skills because I had little kids looking up to me to teach them the songs and help them in their various competition. Running Color War was an amazing experience that I had been looking forward to for a long time, and it was everything I hoped it would be, also because we won. Avi, my man, congrats on graduating eighth grade. Um, I will never forget the time when you were playing Stanford Peace basketball with that slick back hair flying up and down the court, and I was refereeing your game. You drove to the basket, got hit, and turned to me like, no foul? I had been refereeing a lot of your games up to this point, and I knew how much potential you had. I didn't call the foul, even though it was a foul, and I know you remember what I said to you about why I didn't call the foul. You were so much better than a majority of the kids on the court. When you didn't complain further about it, I knew that you were a special kid. I wanted to push you to be better. I wanted you to be challenged, and you were up for the challenge. Once I began working at Bicultural, I really got to not only know you better, but connect with you on so many levels. You're a really cool kid. The way you carried yourself was cool, calm, and collective. Nothing ever seemed to bother you or be too much for you. You are capable of so much. You are very intelligent, dedicated, and sincerely a great kid. What I really admire about you is your competitiveness. You have that fire inside of you, that if you want to be great at something, you will do whatever to achieve it. I still can't believe you beat me in that game of badminton. I'm going to miss our battles in gym class and our sports talks. Continue to be yourself and apply it to your next journey, and I know that you will achieve whatever it is that you put your mind to. My favorite memory from my cultural was the trip to Washington, D.C. I'd never been on an overnight school trip before it. That made it even more special. I'd also always wanted to go to Washington, D.C. to see the monuments. They were so much cooler in person than they were in photos. I also really enjoyed that I was able to experience it all with my friends. It wasn't purely fun though, it was also very educational. I was able to learn more about our history as a country. The combination of education and fun made it a really special experience. Dan, I 
like to congratulate you on an awesome two years in science. It's been an absolute pleasure having you as a student. Not only did you arrive with great science background and were you interested in my science class, but right from the get-go, you, um, you were pretty comfortable in my class and you jumped right into guided discussion and did a great job. Um, one of the nicest things that I've seen with you over the past two years is the way that you take charge of situations around you. And Reef Club would be a perfect example. Um, you work really well with the younger guys. You get them to do things in a, in a way that, uh, that is direct, but, um, but not bossy. And um, it's really nice to watch the kids do what you're asking them to do and get the job done. Um, the icing on the cake here is that you will be at BCHA next year, so I don't have to say goodbye. It's more uh, the Hatzlaha and Mazal Tov. See you next year, Ben. I'm Ellen Weiner, and I'm going to talk about the Yachad experience, also known as the HK Shabbaton. The HK Shabbaton was a memorable experience for me because it was fun, entertaining, and it gave me a broader set view of what it's like to be a special needs. One child, his name was Gavi, he, he was definitely shy and probably had some form of autism. He wanted to make friends with someone in our grade, so I tagged it on and tried to help him so that he could make friends with this person. And eventually it actually worked. It amazed me that I was able to actually help him with this problem. And I, I felt very proud, almost as if I did it. And I believe that the man who was actually able to help him was because I looked at it in a way where I would experience it. And when we got back to our hosts' homes, we played poker and generally continued the fun. And yeah, that was a really amazing experience. So basically, on all the 8th grade at Shabbaton was a very fun and learning experience. Thank you, and I'm on Alan. Alan. Although I know you only from this year, you made a great impression on me. You have this polite and good-mannered personality. You are also a caring and sensitive person, which are great qualities. You made me feel welcomed from the beginning. I remember that there were many mornings that you would stop by in my room on your way to Tefila to ask how I'm doing and to wish me good morning. And I want to thank you for that because you not only made me feel welcome, you also brightened my day. I want to wish you, uh, while going to the high school, that you will continue to be this polite, caring person, that you will be happy and loved by your classmates, and all the best in your future. From Up by Culture, we went on some very fun trips. It was during these times that we created strong memories and funny jokes. One of my favorite trips was going to Crown Heights in 7th grade. The girls went to the Jewish Children's Museum while the boys went to the Sofa Factory. The most exciting part of the trip, though, was going to a candy store called Sweet Expressions. We got a lot of candy and most of us went on a sugar high. We were sad to get on the bus because we didn't want our trip to end. But little did we know there was a big problem in store. On the way home, we got stuck in traffic for three whole hours. It was crazy. People were screaming and laughing, running up and down the aisle and jumping in their seats. My friends and I decided to make videos of our experiences and were being generally crazy. Our trip did not go as expected, but we had a total blast. It's memories like these I know I will keep with me forever. Thank you by Quilter for making the past four years a place to, for growth and amazing memories. Tess. Well, what can I say to the kid who, even through distance learning, has managed to brighten my mornings with funny and entertaining hellos? You are an incredibly kind, funny, and wholesome person who often made boring history fun history, especially with your William Patterson hair. <laughs> um, I will miss seeing you in the halls, counting how many times we would pass each other before class each day, and swapping puppy pictures, of course. I wish you the best of luck in your new school next year and hope that you keep in touch. I know that you'll move on to do great things and yeah, good luck.
now my pleasure to welcome Sammy Sindersky. Shapiro. started by our beloved founding principal, Mr. S. of blessed memory. Please turn your attention to the screens. Chavra, there's a beautiful tradition at Jewish weddings when parents who have had several children marry their youngest child, their Mazinka. Almost 40 years ago, Mr. S., our founding principal and guiding soul of bicultural, adopted this custom for our school, and he would call up parents to the Bema and present them with the plan when their youngest child, their Mazinka, graduated. As you know, Mr. S. passed away this year, but this tradition, this beautiful tradition, is among the many, many gifts he left us. So tonight, even though there's no Bema, it is my honor to recognize nine families whose youngest child will be graduating Bicultural Hebrew Academy this year. And now for the Muzinka music. Randy and Craig Price, parents of Zachary and Ruthie, class of 2018. Karen and Glenn Price, parents of Sawyer and Hudson, class of 2014. Nadja and Howard Weiner, parents of Alan and Tess. Jody and Orrin Shapiro, parents of Avi, Taya, class of 2014, and Lev, 2018. Maria and Greg Bush, parents of Lana and Jason, class of 2018. Susan and Mark Lefferman, parents of Ella, Josh, class of 2015, and Drew, 2018. 
Maria and Glenn Rayson, parents of Isaac, Tina, Noah, class of 2016, and Andrew, class of 2018. Gina and Jonathan Fass, parents of Erez and Michal, class of 2016. And finally, Joe and Norman Steiner, parents of Ben Steiner. And now to the graduates. I spoke a few minutes ago about Mr. S, who is far more than our founding principal. He was a visionary, a mentor, and a very dear friend. More than anything, he loved seeing all his kids graduate from our school because more than anything, he believed in all of you. So before you leave our school, I would like to end with his words to each of you. I hope life will be an adventure for all of you, filled with many happy decisions. And I hope you will always remember Bicultural, because this school, more than any other, will always be part of you. May you always remember your time here and each other with pride and with love. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Bicultural Hebrew Academy, let me wish each of you and your families a very hearty and very happy Mazal Tov on your graduation. Mazel Tov, class of 2020, and a joyful welcome to all those who are joining us tonight to celebrate the graduation of the bicultural class of 2020. To the amazing class of 2020, my heart is overflowing with pride. You are a class that never ceases to inspire, impress, and amaze. And that has never been more true than in recent months when you prove to us all what it means to rise to the occasion, to show grace under pressure and resiliency in the face of disappointment. Tonight, allow yourself to bask in a well-deserved sense of accomplishment. You have successfully reached the end of a journey, but success is a journey, not a destination. And so, in the spirit of the year 2020, I urge you to look ahead with perfect vision to the next leg of your journey to success. I promise you it will be a bold new adventure that is yours for the taking. Don't be shy. Grab onto it with two eager hands. We are all looking to you to make the world a better place. Your eighth grade graduation from Bicultural is perhaps as poignant a moment for me as it is for you. I have watched you all grow, some of you since preschool, to become intelligent, resourceful, kind, and compassionate teens, radiating energy and bubbling over with a contagious ruach. I have watched you leave an indelible impact on our community through the many chesed projects you have engaged in over the years. I have witnessed your burgeoning love and respect for Israel and our Jewish heritage. I have <clears throat> watched you grow and spread your wings and soar. I have seen you develop a love for learning and an intellectual curiosity. I have watched your budding leadership skills blossom and grow. And it has been my distinct pleasure to see you grow to become a source of strength and support for one another. It seems fitting that you, this year's school-wide theme of Yachad together, because there is no quarantine nor any amount of social distancing that can undo the enduring ties that bind the class of 2020 together. Bicultural Hebrew Academy has given you a strong foundation, academically, spiritually, socially, and emotionally. Treasure forever the warm and vibrant memories of your years here. And as you move forward in life, look upon our school, not only as a place of learning, but also as a family, a community of friends, Please know that like families and friends, we will always, always be here for you. My door will always be open for you. So don't be a stranger. Stop by and visit and always keep in touch. You are a forever a part of our heart. 
I wish you all a lifetime of good health, tremendous success, endless happiness, and boundless love. Go forth and do great things. Mazel tov to each and every one of you. Bechatz lecha. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a truly wonderful, wonderful evening. We are almost to the conclusion of our program. A um, couple of more uh, recognition I would like to give. We have a few parents um, in our parking lot this evening who also are alumni of our school. So please give it up and a big honk for Jessica Bradley. Ellie Doft. Yoav Haron. Mark Lefferman. Karen Price. And Randy Price. Lador Vador. It's amazing. Really, really amazing. Uh, a few housekeeping items. We are going to conclude the program um, in a moment with the singing of Hatikva. And after Hatikva, normally at the end of our graduation, when we're at Temple Bethel, the teachers line the outside wall of Bethel. Unfortunately, as you know, our teachers cannot be here this evening because of social distancing. However, they absolutely love all of you. And um, with the help of Rabbi Ophir and Mrs. Harone and Mrs. Robinson, um, they have put together a video for you. So after um, we sing Hatikva, there will be a video. And then when we leave our campus today, we have our security uh, guards that will help us. And Henry and Julio, thank you, Henry and Julio, for everything that you do. Amazing, well, um, will help us out of the parking lot. So just stay put and we will get everybody safely out of the parking lot. Uh, please give your attention to the screen and as we give respect and for a very, very special rendition of Hatikva. Mazel tov, eighth graders. You did it. So proud of you. Hey, eighth graders. Congratulations from Mrs. Vine. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. It was wonderful working with you in sixth and seventh grade. I know you guys are all going to go on to do lots of exciting things in high school. So go for it. Mazel tov to all the eighth graders on their graduation. Hi all, Bud Freund, your IT support guy. Uh, congratulations on your graduations and uh, best wishes for the future. Class of 2020, I am so proud of each and every one of you. I wish I could be there to give you a handshake or a hug. 
Congratulations on a job well done. I wish you every success and happiness in high school and always. Mazel tov. Mwah. Congratulations, eighth graders. It says in Pirkei Avot, a chacham is one who sees the future. I look at you and I see the future. Ergo, you make me a chacham. Congratulations, graduation. Mazel tov to the amazing eighth grade. We are so incredibly proud of all of you. Hey guys, I wanted to congratulate you on your graduation. This is a, an awesome accomplishment. You guys have worked very hard for a long time for this. Um, I want to wish you all the best. I want you to have an, an awesome summer. And I want to remind you to come back and visit us because you are a class we are definitely going to miss. So, Mazal Tov and L'chaim. Uh, mm. Mazel Tov to the eighth grade graduates of 2020. I commend you on your resilience and your achievements. I am so proud of all of you. Mazel Tov, eighth graders. Congratulations on your graduation. Hey, eighth grade, Coach Denise here. I just wanna say that I'm proud of all of you and that I wish you good luck and I will miss you all. Come back and visit. Mazel Tov, 8th graders, wishing you the best in the years to come. Mazel Tov, graduates. Great job, guys. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. I'm so bummed we can't be there in person, but I know you guys are going to move on to do great and awesome things in high school. Congrats. Keep in touch. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Hi, 8th graders. Mazel Tov on your graduation. We'll miss you next year. Have a wonderful summer. Bye. Congratulations, eighth graders. What an accomplishment. I hope you have an awesome and well-deserved day. Congratulations, eighth grade. God bless you. Hi, eighth grade. Mazel tov on graduation. You're now Bicultural Hebrew Academy graduates. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You were an incredible class, and I have no doubt that you're all going to be a huge success. Have a wonderful summer. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, eighth graders. I'm so proud of you on your graduation. It seems like yesterday you were in fourth grade dressing up for living history. This certainly is a different kind of graduation for you guys, but you've handled it all with grace and dignity. Wishing you the best in high school. Mazel tov. We're all so proud of you. Mazel tov, eighth grader. I want to wish you in high school. All the best. Come visit. We will miss you. Mazel tov, 8th graders. I am so proud of you. Wishing you all the best. Congratulations, 8th grade. We're so proud of you and all of the resilience you've shown. We wish you all the best. Keep following your dreams. Mazel tov. Congratulations to all the 8th graders on their graduation. Mazel tov. Shalom Kita Chet, wishing you a huge Mazal Tov on your graduation. I really wish I was there celebrating. I hope to see you guys soon in Israel. Shayyah, Mona, 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 Bat Slacha, Mit Gagat. Hi everybody, Kita Chet, I wish you Bat Slacha, Mazal Tov on your graduation. I love you all. Good luck with everything that you're doing. Love you. Go class of 2020, woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you love and success in all of your future endeavors. Mazel tov to all the eighth graders on this huge accomplishment. Wishing you much hatzlacha and good luck in high school. Shalom kitachet, mazal tov. Um, wanted to wish you lots of luck as you finish middle school and heading off to wherever the path may take you in high school. Um, lots of luck. I feel like I've seen you grow and change because for many of you, I was your second grade teacher and then only selective few were lucky enough to get me again as a teacher in the middle school. So um, it really was nice to see the difference and how you grew and matured. Um, again, enjoy uh, this evening, enjoy graduation and um, 
lots of luck. We'll always miss you in Bicultural. We're home with our youth. Congratulations, eighth graders. I hope your next adventure is everything you hope for. Hi, eighth graders. This is Mrs. Wexler. I just want to wish you luck in the future. Some of you I've known since you were in kindergarten and I've watched you grow up through the years of Bicultural. So all the best and I hope you have a wonderful graduation. Mazel Tov on your graduation. I wish you all the best in your new schools. Have a great summer. Mazel Tov, eighth graders. I'm really gonna miss you. To say that I'm proud of the class of 2020 is an understatement. It's not because you've handled this situation with grace and dignity. It's not because you're a hardworking group. It's not even because I genuinely enjoyed spending time with you. It's because of what you're about to do next. Lend a voice to someone who's lost theirs. Lend a hand to someone who needs one. Go out and change the world. Be kind, be compassionate, and always know that you have a whole group of people right here at BCHA cheering you on. Congratulations. Mazel tov to all the BCHA graduates. We wish you the best, and we're sorry we can't be there with you in person, but we know your future is very, very bright, and mazel tov to all. Mazel tov to the entire eighth grade class of 2020. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Way to go. I know you guys are going to do great on the next journey ahead. Mazel tov. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations for your graduation. Ve mazal tov. Best of luck in high school. Bye. Mazal tov, eighth graders. You guys deserve this. I'm so proud of you. I'd like to end with a Dvar Torah. Bereshit bara Elohim et ha-shamayim In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Yeah, you know the rest. Mazal tov. Eighth grade class of Bicultural Hebrew Academy of Connecticut 2020, I toast you on your graduation with Super Seltzer and Purell. I just want to say that I wish you nothing but success. L'chaim. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Malach Olam Shahakol Nied Bidvaro. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck in high school. Hi, class of 2020. It's Yaakov and Ashira. I just want to wish you guys a huge, huge, huge mazel tov and such a big accomplishment. It's your first nap in pre-K. Guys have been working just for this one moment right here. And you have no idea, and I have no idea how much, how hard you guys worked for this moment, how much effort you guys put into it. But I want you guys to know it's an honor to be around such a sweet, sweet group of students who we tremendously respect and we're really, really impressed with. Just want to wish you guys a mazel tov with a lot of success in the future and really a lot of strength going forward, but you guys can do it and you, got, you know you guys can do it. So we're proud of you and just want to wish you guys a huge mazel tov. Congratulations to all the graduates on this incredibly special day. Mazel tov. Kita chet, anachnu oavim etchem. Anachnu geim bachem. אנחנו מחכים לראות אתכם בישראל. מזל טוב ובהצלחה. ביי! Thank you to all the parents for all of your help and support. Thank you to the amazing graduates. You are now alumni. Come back soon to visit. Have a great evening. Woohoo! Please drive carefully and um, 
give your attention to those helping us exit safely. Have a great night. Mazel tov, everyone. הגוזלים שלי עזבו את הקר, פרסו כנפיים ועפו, ואני ציפור זגנה נשארתי בקר, מקווה מאוד שהכל יהיה בסדר. תמיד ידעתי שיבוא היום שבו צריך להיפרד אבל עכשיו זה ככה בא לי פתאום אז מה הפלא שאני קצת דואג חתוך את השמיים, טוס לאן שבא לך. רק אל תשכח, יש נשר בשמיים, גור לך. נשארנו לבדנו בכיף, אבל אנחנו ביחד. חבקי אותי חזק, תגידי לי כן. אל תדאגי ביחד, כיף להזדקן. עוף גוזר Bye. Bye.